And today I want to talk again why you may still be having thyroid or low thyroid symptoms but your lab tests come back normal and your doctor says okay your TSH um, isn't high, uh, you're normal, everything's good and so you continue to live with those symptoms. Well one of those reasons can actually be that you have a problem with what are called neurotransmitters. And you've probably heard of neurotransmitters in one way or another. This is how your brain intercommunicates. Uh, it uses what is called serotonin, dopamine, GABA, acetylcholine, and there are many other uh, neurotransmitters. But again, when we look at those neurotransmitters, which there's not really any particular lab test that you can test neurotransmitters because they don't cross the blood-brain barrier. But if you are low in serotonin, you know, you may have symptoms of uh, loss of pleasure in your hobbies or your interests. Um, you may feel depressed a lot of the time. Uh, you might get these feelings of, of inner rage or you fear, feel paranoid um, a lot. Um, and maybe you just feel like you're not enjoying life or you don't have any enthusiasm for um, activities that you used to really like. So you're, you're losing those things there. Um, and again, this is gonna affect an area of your brain called the hypothalamus. We're just gonna say central nervous system. This will affect your central nervous system and this in itself will cause your pituitary gland to not make enough thyroid stimulating hormone. Another cause for this, not just serotonin, but another cause for this can be low dopamine levels. Now dopamine, uh, that can give you a different set of symptoms. You could get just more like those feelings of worthlessness, um, feelings of hopelessness, um, self-destructive thoughts, those aren't good, um, inability to really just handle any stress, and, and you really kind of just prefer to isolate yourself from others and, and stay alone. Those are more symptoms of low dopamine levels. And again, not good, but what can these do? Even at low levels, they can affect that area of your central nervous system, which doesn't allow or send signals to your pituitary gland, which makes thyroid stimulating hormone. This is the guy that tells your thyroid, make more, make more, make more. So what will happen is your doctor, he's going to look at your lab test and he's going to see, okay, her TSH or his TSH looks low. You know, the bottom of the functional range for TSH is 1.8. And if we see that you're below that functional range, this low serotonin, low dopamine, this could be a cause for this malfunction. Now the thing is, is do you go in and give a person serotonin, give a person dopamine? No, no, and, and a lot of times people will end up on antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications. Um, uh, their doctors are saying, okay, this is the only thing we, need to, we know how to do for this, so we'll just put them on these meds. But those meds have a lot of bad side effects, so uh, that's not the route that I like to take. So what we do, or what we look at, and one of the most important things is blood sugar problems what are called dysglycemias. You could either have a low blood sugar or high blood sugar. And again, if it's either way, that can affect your ability to make serotonin, dopamine, GABA, acetylcholine. You have to have good blood sugar, level steady blood sugar, to make these neurotransmitters. So again, that's why if a person gets low blood sugar if they're hypoglycemic they might feel like they're gonna pass out their brain is gonna shut down it has to have fuel and it can make them feel make them feel irritable too if they get low blood sugar I don't know if you ever known anyone like that or if they get high blood sugar again can do the same things especially when if you get fatigue after meals or if you uh, just ate a meal and you're like I just need something sweet right afterwards these are signs of high and low blood sugar so um, again those must be taken care of first, but these are all possibilities for you to still continue to have thyroid symptoms, but your labs look normal and your doctor says no problem, just go on your way or put you on an antidepressant or anti-anxiety medication. All right, well there's about 24 different reasons your thyroid can go wrong and we're going over many of those and this is today is one. So okay, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.